Hi Ruth, it's Bev. Okay, let's take a look at your essays. <coughs> Excuse me. It is said that youngsters are easily influenced by people close to them. Um, youngsters is a good word, it's a very generic word for anybody that is younger than you, but if you want to be referring to perhaps teenagers, um, another word you could use here is adolescence, okay, if you don't want to repeat too much, okay. But youngsters is fine, right. <clears throat> it is said that youngsters are easily influenced by people close to them. Some believe that teenagers are often more influenced from whom they have a close uh, by those with whom they have a close friendship. However, I would put full stop there. Uh, however, they also take uh, they also take uh, uh, you've got the word order you need to change it here. Um, they also take the advice from their parents into account seriously on important matters. <clears throat> this essay will try to illustrate take away try. And two, this essay will illustrate um, why the youth are more influenced by their parents than their friends or teachers. Using examples from Spain to demonstrate my ideas and support my arguments. Okay, so what's your prepositions there? Okay, and your sentence order. On the one hand, it is undoubtedly true that teenagers consider the opinion of a friend rather than a teacher. Um, you need to end that sentence. That's, that's not a complete idea. You might want to say, undoubtedly true that teenagers are likely to place more, are likely to give more, more, more due consideration to the opinion of a friend rather than a teacher. This is because a young person believes that a friend can recommend can make recommendation can make better recommendations to hit to them as they have more in they have more in common as well as the same life experiences for example a recent educational survey revealed take away have that 43 percent you don't need a space there of spanish teenagers decided uh, made their university choice by consulting a sibling or a friend for recommendation. Therefore, teenagers are often under the influence of their friends rather than their teachers. You might want to say, uh, this, is, this can be seen as a classic example um, of how teenagers tend to be more influenced by their friends than their teachers. Be very careful about stating something as though it's a hundred percent fact. Always use words that gives you some room for flexibility. Can be seen, it could be, is most likely, is possible, okay? Things like that. On the other hand, um, you might want to use a different phrase. Yeah, I see you use this phrase quite often. You might want to say conversely, okay? Parents are often, parents often, take away R, uh, I would say parents can often influence their sons and daughters more than friends. This is due to the fact that teenagers are dependent <laughs> um, on their parents financially. Okay. Consequently, parents often affect their sons' uh, final decisions when it is required an investment such as where to go on vacation, in which school they should study or what clothes they should wear as well. Okay, you need to change around the sentence order. It's very, very, it's too wordy. There's too much words, too much information. You need to make it a little bit more succinct and easier to follow. So I wouldn't say consequently because there isn't a direct cause and effect here. I would say um, a prime example is um, when um, children um, require money from their parents in order uh, for things such as going on a vacation or, in, uh, or when deciding 
uh, at which school or university they will study. Okay. Um, full stop. This even goes as far as buying clothes. Okay. And perhaps um, media devices. Okay. By media devices, I mean smartphones and laptops and tablets and things. Okay. Um, thus, ideas from friends. Uh, do affect teenagers' decisions, yet their parents' are opinions are the ones that have that bring that have a greater influence on them. Uh, I wouldn't use wealth here; it's not the appropriate way to use it here. Uh, to conclude, even though young people may consider may. Uh, may seek out the opinion of their friends rather than others due to their close relationships. Semicolon. A teenager's important decisions are often still made. The, the teenagers, the final decision on important matters, the teenagers still make their final decision on important matters, uh, very much being very much influenced by their parents' ideas due to financial constraints with a T. Okay, Ruth, a lot of work to do here on sentences. Okay, it should be easy to read. Um, you have a lot of good ideas. You've answered the question and you've put out your paragraphing fine, so that's good, okay? But you do have quite a bit of grammar work to do and your sentence order and your sentence structuring. You need a lot of work on that, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the letter. <coughs> you read an article in a magazine. There you go. Right. How things are going. Okay. Um, the person you are writing to Okay. All right, so it's an informal letter, okay? We, so we don't say how things are going, we say how are things going, okay? Another um, very good way to open a letter sometimes is to say, I hope that this letter finds you well, something like that. I hope this letter finds you enjoying the new year and um, your new job or something like that. But the sentence structure here is, how are things going? I guess your holidays... Okay, holiday is um, without an S, because you go on holiday, even though it is maybe seven days, it's one batch, it's one occurrence, it's a holiday. Okay, we talk about holidays, there will be separate batches throughout the year. Okay, I guess your holiday in... Uh, not I guess, but I trust that your holiday in Bali was incredible. Um, perhaps we should get together with our families in a few in a cup in a few weeks' time and look through your photos. I'm writing to you because I was impressed. Um, I'm writing to you about an article I read in a magazine from the database website you sent me a month ago. I was very impressed with it. Incredibly, some new in-memory technologies to improve the system's performance are growing in importance. Okay, that, that doesn't, I don't know what you're talking about. You need to reference more to what you're saying, what the article was about, what it was called, and um, you just need to expand a bit more. Cause if I read that, I don't know what, you, what you're referring to. Okay. Indeed, um, it's amazing how fast this breakthrough has grown in the last year. Okay, space here. I will propose, check the spelling, it's wrong. Um, I intend to make a proposal at work based on this technology 
in order to minimize our performance issues. That's exactly what we need. Uh, it's exactly what we need in my company. Do you own the company, or do, is it a place that you work in? Okay, so if you work there, that's exactly what we need um, where I work. Okay, maybe you could send me, or can could send me some further information or links to other websites about this topic. Not what about, but how about a barbecue on Friday? Go check the spelling for barbecue. Um, so that we can, we can take a look at your holiday pictures and have a freak discussion. No, that's the wrong word. Um, I, I don't know what you, I don't know if you want to, I don't know what you're trying to say there. Go and, uh, I don't know if you want to say Frank, or if you want to say a discussion, like talking about technology, maybe like geeks, I don't know if you want to say that. Go and look up the word of the, the meaning of this word and find another word to use there. Um, perhaps you can, perhaps after you have spoken to Emma, you could confirm the date with me. Keep in touch. Okay. The tone is good, okay, uh, which is important in these letters, but in order to, it's also a little bit too formal there, okay. Um, I would go and rewrite this letter based on the suggestions that I've made. Check your spelling, check your word use. Um, if you did, the, if you submitted this in, in the IELTS, you might only get five for a letter like this because there's a lot of issues here with your sentence structure and your word choice and the grammar and there is uh, a few basic spelling errors. Okay, so you need to rework that and then we'll take a look at it again. Okay, Ruth.